And now for the next exercise, we'll be learning how to deploy with the NPM bundle generator. So after this exercise, you will have learned how to create a React module, as well as how to deploy your module to your LifeRay instance. In this exercise, we'll be taking the following steps. You'll be installing the LifeRay NPM bundle generator, create a basic React module, and then you'll deploy the new module. So after this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes creating any of the other JavaScript module types. You can create and deploy another module using Blade, and then you can add your own React code to the Tic-Tac-Toe module and deploy that. And with that, let's get into our exercise. So in this exercise, we'll start by installing the LifeRay npm bundle generator. So we'll run the following command npm install dash g generator liferay bundle. From here, we'll type in yo. See that we have both the bundle and the theme generators installed. So it will get me out of here by just going all the way down or using control C. So now we'll be creating a basic React module. So we'll go into our library folder, which I'm currently in, and we'll run the following command, yo library bundle. From here, we're going to move our cursor down twice to select React Base Widget. We'll call this test project, and then we'll hit enter to accept the default description for this project. Type in Y for localization support, as well as configuration support. Under which category should it be listed, we'll hit enter to accept the default category. And then we'll type Y to indicate that we do have a local installation. It's going to ask for a location. And so I'm going to paste in the location of the life free folder. You'll notice that this time we don't have the Tomcat indicated. And so we only need the life ray directory. We'll hit enter and we'll type in Y to generate sample code. Now we'll be deploying the new React module. So we'll type in ls to see that the test project React module has been generated. We'll go into here and then we'll type in npm run deploy. So now that it finished building and deploying, we'll be adding our React module to a page. So we'll go back to our local host. We're still signed in. At the very top right, we'll click this pencil icon, this edit button, to edit this page. And then we'll navigate to the widgets section in this right sidebar. We'll scroll down to find the sample section which is where our test project is located. And then we'll drag in our test project to the bottom of the page. And we'll see that because we have nothing configured, it just has a bunch of metadata of our project. And so we see that our module has been successfully deployed and that's the end of this exercise.